Let's do one more word with Terry Reardon, who's the author of Winston Churchill and Mackenzie King, so similar, so different. And I want to just ask you about uh, the role of the dice here, as it were. What role do you think luck played in the careers of these two men? Tremendously. It's, uh, it's one of the things which few historians want to bring into a book, because then their powers of reasoning and their brilliance is, doesn't come out. The luck, there's so many things. With all our lives, how much luck is involved. With, with Mackenzie King, there was two incidents I could mention. 1926, the King Bing affair. Yes. He had, um, he had the 1926 election. The Conservative Party, I think it was something like 14 seats more. They won more, 14 seats more than the Liberals under Mackenzie King. But there was a third party, the Progressives, who won something like 20 seats. So the Governor, Gen uh, Governor General, Lord Bing, uh, presumably said, thought that King would come and resign. And he said, no, I've chatted with the progressive leader. He'll, he'll support me. And I think I can keep the confidence of the House. Yes. And so Bing said, well, OK, I suppose that's it. So the progressives do support him. But then there becomes a scandal in the customs department. And the progressives say, we're not going to support you anymore. So this is when King goes to Bing and says, I like a dissolution of parliament and another election. Bing says, there's no way I've got to give me and then the Conservatives an opportunity. Which is the right position to take, frankly. I would, exactly. And so uh, King says, there's no, you can't do that. The prime minister, the history shows you have to accept what the prime minister says. But Bing says, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so eventually after, and this is like 13 pages of, of, of King's diary, going into all this, trying everything, all his, his brilliant negotiating skills, but Bing wouldn't uh, budge. And so they give the opportunity to Meehan. Meehan, actually, um, there's a, a, a vote in Parliament, a crucial vote. Two of the MPs, there was an MP for the Progressives, or I'm not sure if the Progressives or the Liberals, and an MP from the Conservatives matched. They, they, should, they shouldn't have voted. Mm. The, the, op, the opposition one, as I say, I'm not sure if it was Liberal or, or CCF or Progressive, he, uh, he votes, and by mistake, and Meehan loses by one vote. The election, so the Meehan asked for a dissolution, and of course, and King says, really, he should have asked for me again to <laughs> vote for that. So he, anyway, it's dis dissolution, there's another election. If we had a flag at the time, King would have wrapped himself in the Canadian flag. And, but he, and he'd, he'd be careful not to insult Bing, because he's a popular guy, Bing, Bing of Vimy. And, but anyway, King wins. Again, a minority, but he, he gets selected. In. So he, he actually, in, a, in his own mind, Bing did him a favor. So, he, so he's in 1926, he's prime minister again. Lucky guy. And then, of course, there's the 1931, the Great Depression. King loses. People say, oh, the brilliant guy, he made sure he lost. Of course, he didn't. But he, uh, he lost, and then Bennett had to look after the, the unemployment and the, the problems. And you got five years with Bennett, it. one term, and out then, he was gone, yeah. and King came back. That's right. Uh, Winston Churchill should have been killed in an accident, right? 1931 in New That's York right. City? Yeah. Could well, easily been killed then. He was, uh, he got, he figured, as we all should do, whatever road, look left and right. Mm -hmm. He looked the wrong way because he was used to British traffic, was hit by a taxi, and was very badly injured. And he uh, survived. He had a, his strong constitution, which got him through heart attacks and strokes, got him through it, and uh, he, he lived to fight another day, literally. Churchill apparently asked, Oxford University physicist Professor Frederick Lindemann to calculate what the force yeah. of that accident was, and Lindemann said it was the equivalent of two charges of buckshot fired point blank at right at Churchill. Yeah. How, I mean, how does he survive something like that? He had a strong constitution. <laughs> Anyone who ate and drank as much as he did. Can I just mention on drinking? Yes, Lindemann another point one mm -hmm. time. He said, uh, okay. The alcohol I've drunk in my life, which Churchill always tried to make more than it was, because he, he thought it was amusing, because he was never, people had never seen him drunk. 
he said, how much would that have covered in like a railway compartment? And he was most upset when Lindemann said about two inches. That, oh, that's not very much, is it? So, so <laughs> that's, it didn't sound much, but it was a large space. You must, as a historian, play these parlor games where you wonder if Churchill had, in fact, in 1931, been killed in a car accident right. in New York City, how the fate of the world would have been different. That's right. What do, you, what do you come up with? I haven't really come to that one, Steve. It would have been someone else would have taken over. Mackenzie King, later on in the war, said you were, it was fate which got you this. God looked mm -hmm. down. He put you in that position. And Churchill says, no, if I hadn't have been there in 1940, someone else would have been there. Not buying it. No. There wouldn't have been anyone who could have done that. Now, Canada would have still gone to war. Britain would have been at war. France would have done it would have been the same thing. What would have happened? Quite honestly, it's uh, the lap of the gods. Anthony Eden maybe would have prime minister. He had some of the royal jelly, but not too much. If Halifax had taken on the job, he would have muddled his way through. And uh, hopefully, the British army, the military, would have uh, won out in the end. Because, obviously, the, cru the two crucial points in the war, climax, Rex, which Churchill called them, was in, in uh, 1941, when Hitler invaded Russia, and in December 1941, when Japan invaded uh, Pearl Harbor, hmm. or bombed Pearl Harbor. So Britain would have won, the Allies would have won, in spite of the fact that Churchill would not have uh, been prime minister. But it could have been a longer period, and who knows? It's, uh, I'm glad you're that confident about it. I'm not sure. No. There's nobody else who would have said, we're going to fight him on the beaches. Oh, no question. Blood, sweat, toil, no tears. We will never surrender. No. No one else could have done he that. Wouldn't, yeah, no one else would have built up the British people. But the backbone of the British people and the Canadian people, I'm hoping, would have, would have would actually have overthrown Hitler eventually. But it's by no means certain. And but the fact is we know what Churchill did. And the fact is he was the catalyst which defeated Germany and Japan. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at TVO.org.